Rolex, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, what do they all have in common? Well, aside from being amongst the world's most famous and sought after luxury brands, they also share the less glamorous title of being amongst the most counterfeited luxury brands to ever exist. Whether you consider yourself a fan or just have a casual interest in luxury brands, chances are you're well aware of the existence of fake luxury items. They're nothing new. But perhaps what you're less in tune with is just how widespread and deceptive some of these fakes have become. In today's video, I take a closer look into the rise of the luxury counterfeit industry, how common and how close some of the fakes are becoming, and what happens next. The act of counterfeiting existed long before any of us here today were alive. In fact, it's often dubbed as the world's second oldest profession. Records dating back to ancient Greek and Roman times talk of foray, for example. These were coins, usually counterfeits, but on occasion produced with government authorization. The coins had a base metal core such as copper, which was then plated with a precious metal, typically gold or silver, in order to make it look like a solid precious metal coin. Back then, punishments for making counterfeits could have easily been death. Nowadays, punishments have changed and are more lenient, but what remains exactly the same is the concept behind counterfeiting. Find an item of value and reproduce it. If the item is reproduced accurately, the producer and or user reap the benefits associated with the genuine article. Unlike currency which dates back millenniums, the majority of luxury brands we indulge in today have been around for less than 200 years. During this period, for the most part, their items have been in demand and deemed valuable, and with such qualities, being counterfeited is inevitable. In actual fact, arguably the most notorious luxury brand's signature feature, LV's monogram canvas, was actually created to fend off counterfeits. Louis Vuitton's son, Georges, who headed the brand after his father's passing, created the pattern in 1896 to defend against a growing number of fakes popping up in and around France. The monogram canvas covered the brand's trunks and the complicated nature of the pattern made it difficult to replicate at the time. Of course, now things are very different. Within the last few decades, the world has changed drastically. We live in an incredibly advanced technological era, and so naturally, counterfeiters have a wide range of equipment at their disposal, therefore making the replication of complex designs more feasible than it was in the past. Not only that, but also the creation of more physical locations, the introduction of the internet and then social media have all broken down huge barriers that previously acted as shields for luxury brands. Where in 1900 it would have been tricky to get your hands on many luxury brands, let alone reproduce them accurately at scale, in 2020, globalization is such that people all over the world can see and access them. Counterfeiters can very easily get a hold of authentic items and deconstruct them in order to facilitate the production of their own versions. In many cases, it seems they don't even physically need the exact authentic item to produce a fake anymore. So we know luxury counterfeits are out there, but just how prevalent are they? 2018's official global brand counterfeiting report revealed that counterfeits were responsible for losses of an estimated $98 billion in the luxury goods sector. By the end of 2020, this figure will have increased without doubt. There are thousands of websites openly selling fake luxury goods, online marketplaces are corrupt with users advertising replicas as authentic, there are forums dedicated to the buying and selling of designer counterfeits, and the list goes on. Messenger apps WeChat and WhatsApp have long been used as showrooms in which counterfeit sellers connect with buyers. On Instagram, an April 2019 report from analytics firm Ghost Data found that nearly 20% of posts on the platform about fashion products featured counterfeits. At this stage, the counterfeits are literally in your face. Even if you haven't noticed them, you've definitely scrolled past a few. How close are they to the real deal anyway? Well, there are levels to it. The lowest grades of fakes don't really pose much of a threat. These are the types you may see for sale on street corners or at popular beach holiday destinations. Just by looking at them, you can tell the quality is lacking. On the other hand, there are the so-called one-to-one counterfeits that would fool the majority of the public. Here we're talking about super fake designer bags, for example, that can cost anywhere between several hundred and a few thousand pounds. Or we might talk about franken watches, fake watches that have been modified to include genuine parts such as a dial or bezel in order to make them appear more like the authentic model. Even if we ignore the top fakes for a moment, evidence still suggests the average fake is becoming closer to the real thing. Occurrences such as one of the world's biggest luxury consignment companies mistakenly allowing fakes to pass its authentication tests, or established luxury brand retailers allegedly being caught selling fake stock to customers can only happen if fakes are becoming more accurate. Okay, so what now? Well, what happens next is anyone's guess. As long as there's demand for counterfeits, they'll continue to be supplied and improved versions will keep coming out. Luxury brands will fight back relentlessly. The use of RFID tags, Certi logo codes, and the creation of teams dedicated to intellectual property management are just a few of the ways they've gone about this already. Unfortunately for them, the reality of the situation is that if a fake item looks genuine but only costs a fraction of the genuine item's price, there are always going to be people out there who have no issue opting for the fake. 
Whether or not that's fair, well, that's a debate for another day. Thank you.